morning. I'm Maureen Cornoa, Executive Director at Gwinnett Children's Shelter here in Beaufort, Georgia. We're at the fabulous Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival where a lot of great people came together to benefit Gwinnett Children's Shelter. We started last August with our first committee meeting and a great group of KCBS members and Pitmaster team competitors who decided that it would be a great idea to put on one of these wonderful events to benefit our children in need. So here we are almost a year later uh, and we have a fabulous turnout. Almost 94 Pitmaster teams, 40 food and non-food vendors, and everybody's out with a great attitude to help our kids in Gwinnett and in the metro Atlanta area. This is our, well, this is our first annual Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival. We hope to do it about the same time, the same venue. Uh, and the great thing for us is the Gwinnett Braves Cool Ray Field has donated this space for us. So we're at the mercy of their ball schedule. We do hope to have it about the same time next year before the ball season gets into full swing. Gwinnett Children's Shelter offers a three to 12 month transitional living program called The Next Step. We take homeless children of all ages, birth to 17 with their young moms, and we do a transitional living program designed to end the cycle of homelessness for two generations at one shot. We keep that family unit together, find out what's wrong, how they came to be homeless, we fix it, and we set them on a path to sustainability and independence. Thank everybody, KCVS. Thank you to Barbecue TV for being here. Uh, thank you to all the wonderful volunteers who gave their time, energy, and talents. Thank you to Jim and Cindy Lloyd uh, for putting on this fabulous event for Gwinnett Children's Shelter. From Ontario, Canada, we had a selection of stuff here. We had a Krispy Kreme burger, donut cut in half with a couple uh, patties on it. Then we had collard greens, we had some baked beans, we had uh, a burnt end decorated with some veggies, and we had a, a crab cake with uh, some uh, stuff on top. Which one was your favorite? I think it was between the, the burnt end and the crab cake. They're both pretty good. Okay. Everything had its pluses and its minuses. For me, the collard greens is the first time I've ever seen them. Pass it on down. Everybody gets to come. Introduce yourself. We're going to wait till you get another mouthful of food and then we'll Sorry. ask you questions. Finish chewing. <laughs> okay. Introduce yourself and then tell us what you ate. Hi, I'm Lisa Hallmark and Goodness, quite a variety here. We've got the Krispy Kreme burger, we've got collard greens and cornbread. We had beans, I ate them all. <laughs> the beans were really good. Um, I believe this is crab cake and then, I'm not sure what kind of meat it was with um, mixed vegetables and a roasted carrot on top. It was delicious. Okay. All of it, yeah. Yeah, all of it's super tasty. <laughs> One more down. I'm Darcy Young, and um, everything was amazing. I was wondering if we could eat seconds. <laughs> but um, the most interesting thing I thought the best was this one right here. So um, really, really good, and I enjoyed it. These folks out and, here love to be creative. Oh, it's so, this is the most unique thing, and I know that he was saying that they do this in the Midwest, but we're from the South, and so collards are real big down here in, in baked beans, so it was all amazing. Okay. Well, I ate everything that was delicious. My favorite was the, I believe it was a filet. Um, love the collard greens and I love the crab cake. So, uh, John, uh, the beans were the best I've ever had. The meat was, was very good too. I'm not a very big collard green person myself, so they were satisfactory. And the hamburger was different. <laughs> All right, thank you all very much.
after me. I do solemnly swear. I do solemnly swear. To objectively and subjectively evaluate. Each barbecue meat, meat that is presented to my eyes, to my, eyes my, nose, my nose, my hands, my, my palate. I, I accept my duty to be a first annual Sip and Swine Barbecue Festival judge. So that so the truth, so truth, justice, justice excellence, in barbecue, excellence in barbecue, and the American way of life, way of life may be strengthened and preserved forever. Uh, let's have a good contest. Oh, that's throw it off. Oh, this one. And that looks pretty good. I need to angle. For some reason, this one isn't angling as much as I would like. This one either. We'll close that box up and so down. Well, we need a little brush. I need to touch it. Okay, uh, overall, this is a very good. A uh, group of chicken, I would say. Um, they're all quite good. Um, number three was my favorite. I, that was just about perfect. <laughs> Had the smoky flavor and uh, moist and uh, everything right. Uh, number two was also quite good. Um, and all the rest of them were also uh, cooked correctly, moist. Um, it's hard to tell them apart. They're all very good. The uh, overall appearance and uh, taste of all of them were very good. My favorite one was number three because of the smoke. Uh, although number one and number two were very good. Uh, one, the, one of the uh, entries was a little overdone and dry. Overall appearance was great on all of them. Uh, I did like number one. That was my favorite. All the other ones were great. I thought all of them were pretty good. Um, I like three, four, and five. They're all really good. Um, the last one was a little bit dry. I agree that uh, all of them uh, were pretty good as the lot together. Uh, some nice looking thighs on there that was sauced uh, very well. And uh, three and four uh, were my favorites as well. Uh, good smoke flavor and uh, good tenderness. Uh, I was glad to see a little variety, a couple of legs instead of just all thighs. I thought they were very good chickens. Uh, I guess my favorite was number five, but I like some others also. Number three was my favorite. Um, I think it was a, a good, nice, well well done rib. Um, number two was probably my least favorite. Uh, it was a little dry. <laughs> <laughs> number one was my favorite uh, because mine was it was tender. It wasn't um, overdone. Number six was absolutely my least favorite because it had a strange taste that I couldn't quite identify coupled with the fact that it was on the dry side. Number four is my favorite uh, for taste. Uh, texture was a bit off, but taste-wise it was great. And my least favorite was number two. Um, just the taste wasn't there for me. Mm. Number four I thought was very much overcooked. Uh, just fell off the bone. It had a good flavor. Um, number two, there wasn't much meat on the bone to even try. And number three, um, I liked it. It had good taste. Okay, uh, number six was my favorite. It was fairly perfect. 
number one came in a close second, and the rest of them were either undercooked or overcooked and a little tough. So the rest of them were pretty much just even. But uh, number one, I mean, number six was my number one choice, and number one is my second choice. I'm pretty much with him. Number six was my favorite. Number one ran close to it. The others were either a little overcooked or tough or undercooked and didn't have a whole lot of taste on them. But uh, six and one were, were the top two. Getting seven pieces in this box. That ain't happening. Sorry, table captain. Chunk the rest of that, or make it, darling. Baby. I would say today the first entry right there was my favorite. It had a great tenderness to it, had a great smoky flavor that I really, really enjoyed. And then probably number five was my least favorite. There was a, a tenderness that it had uh, that it was lacking in my opinion and a little bit of a taste issue as well. I liked number six the best because it was yummy and it was really smoky. It had a good smoke ring but not too much sweet. Conversely, number four was my least favorite because it was very sweet. Ready? I gotta say this is one of the best plates of barbecued pork I've had in a long time. Number one uh, was good, no complaints about that at all. It was nice and tender, good flavor. Same thing for number two. Uh, it's everything you expect in a piece of pork. Good smoke, nice crisp outside. Number three um, came in both uh, as shredded and as a whole piece. One of the few times that I've seen that shredded was better than the whole piece. And the, uh, the cook would have done much better just to leave the shredded there. Again, number four. Uh, a good piece of pork. Uh, you can see a good smoke ring on it, and it's got great taste. Now, number seven was my favorite. It had a unique taste, the kind of thing that you don't see a whole lot. To me, it kind of rang of chocolate, which is not something you expect, but uh, I thought it gave up both a depth and a sweetness to it that you uh, don't often see. Uh, number eight, uh, six, again, a nice piece of meat. Uh, I got a portion of it that was really spicy, but that could just be the piece I got. Uh, but otherwise, it's just a great plate of uh, pulled pork. I think all teams brought a very unique profile to the table. Uh, they all deserve uh, high praise. Uh, I think my favorite probably was the fifth entry. It had a very unique uh, flavor profile. Uh, but other, overall, all teams, again, brought a very unique and a very wonderful uh, profile to the table for us to sample. I have to agree that there were some very good entries today. A couple of them that had very unique flavors that were wonderful. Um, I would vote for number one. It was tender. Just the right of smoke, amount of smoke for me. Just a light smoke. It was just very flavorful. Love the bark. Very much for all of your help this weekend, Bob. You're mighty welcome. You're an Thanks incredible. You're an incredible friend. That doesn't look well. Three, seven. That's a little bit better. samples. Number one had good flavor. I thought it was a little bit dry but the flavor was good. Uh, I liked, at least one I liked was number six. 
for the taste and number four to me was completely overdone and too smoky. Okay. My favorite was number six. It had good flavor and uh, the texture was good. Uh, the number five was also uh, had a good flavor to it and uh, tore apart very nicely. My least favorite was number three. Uh, that was very chewy and uh, dry. It took a it took a lot of uh, chew power to get through that one. Um, I would say number five was perfect. I gave it uh, all nines, and I hope it wins. For myself, on uh, number one and number four, the burnt ends were a little dry. I thought number two had the most flavor, real nice uh, beefy flavor. Unfortunately for me, on my number six, I had a lot of fat on mine so that one didn't score as high but I, I definitely enjoyed number five as well uh for myself number six was real good uh number two was tasted real great and number four just didn't get it <laughs> it was not good uh, number one was good Number two was tender, yeah, the good taste. Number five was pretty good. I thought number six was the best. It was a good burn in. Number one was good. It had a good flavor. It was moist. But uh, two, three, and four were a little dry. So was five. Five was pretty, it was, was dry also. Four had a good flavor, but it was just dry. But by, by all means, number six was the best. You can justify that story, and you don't mind justifying it. It's a very good reason. If it was just a pure random, y'all might decided to use a file today. This is just as good as any time to use it. And you got a problem. We got a problem. This is a up. So please bear with us on that. And I thank you very much. Y'all, I mean, Biggest part, we don't really have, I don't, very seldom we ever had anybody just say flat, no, I'm not going to do it.